Hello, and welcome to the online edition of Night Watch for November 2023. My name is Bill, coming to you from the Pseudicum Planetarium here at Adventure Science Center in Nashville. And as always, we'll start with the moon phases for this month, and we find the moon will be at last quarter on the 5th, new moon on the 13th, first quarter moon on the 20th, and the full moon for the month on the 27th. Also, don't forget, this month we go back to Standard Time, which returns on Sunday, November 5th. So don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour, and you'll get that extra hour to sleep on Saturday night. Looking at planets this month, in the evening sky we find both Jupiter and Saturn continue to be easily visible in our evening sky this month, with Saturn high in the southwestern sky, appearing as a yellowish or cream-colored star-like object. The first quarter moon will be passing by the planet Saturn on November 19th and 20th. Jupiter is high in the eastern sky and appears as a bright white star-like object that is up pretty much all night long moving across the sky. The waxing gibbous moon will be passing near the planet Jupiter on November 24th. In the morning sky, the planet Venus continues to blaze in the east-southeastern sky, rising at around 3 a.m. and is easily visible as the brightest white star-like object in the morning sky. The beautiful thin crescent moon will be passing very close to the planet Venus on the 9th. Looking at the constellations this month, in our evening sky, looking south at about 8 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, we find that the planet Saturn is in the faint constellation of Aquarius, while Jupiter is in the faint constellation of Aries. Both of these constellations will probably not be visible in places like Nashville and other cities and neighboring suburbs because of light pollution from all the lights that we turn on at night. However, if we get away from the city lights where it's really dark, we can see many, many more stars, and we can see how easy it was in ancient times for people to draw lots and lots of pictures in our evening skies as we see the constellations of our evening sky against that backdrop of a dark sky. Up overhead and a little bit toward the west we do have the very famous constellation of Pegasus, the magical flying horse in Greek mythology. Now the main part of Pegasus is four stars that we usually refer to as the Great Square or the Autumn Square. High in the eastern part of the sky to the left of where Jupiter is, is the constellation Taurus the Bull, marked by the beautiful star clusters the Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters, and the Hyades star clusters that mark the head of Taurus the Bull. And just rising in the eastern sky is the majestic constellation Orion the Hunter, which will become the dominant constellation this winter. Also this month, we have the annual Leonid meteor shower peaking during mid-month on the late night and early mornings of November 17th and 18th. The meteor shower is best seen between midnight and sunrise. While the Leonid meteor shower is known for producing thousands of meteors per hour about every 30 to 35 years, 2023 is not one of those years, so we can only expect about 15 meteors per hour, and that's if you're far away from city and suburban light pollution where it's extremely dark. In the city areas and suburban areas, you can expect about five meteors per hour to be visible. However, if you're up in the early morning of November 18th before sunrise, look up high in the eastern sky for the constellation Leo and see if you spot any Leonid meteors moving away from that part of the sky. Now don't forget, if you can't remember everything I've mentioned in this online edition of Nightwatch, you can grab a copy of our printed star chart online at adventuresci.org slash starcharts where you can get a view of the sky during mid-month and also some other information about the nighttime sky for this month. Also, don't forget to join us here in the Pseudicum Planetarium here at Adventure Science Center for our Night Watch Sky Show in the Planetarium Theater, as well as other planetarium shows. This month, we have our own production, Stars, narrated by Mark Hamill, and Explore. Also, on Saturday, November 25th, we bring back our laser light shows with our own Pseudicum Planetarium Productions, Tay Laser, our Taylor Swift laser show at 5.30, Laser David Bowie at 6.30, and Laser Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary with this special 
1973 quadraphonic mix of the album at 7.30 p.m. Check out the website, adventureside.org, for more information about all of our programs, as well as other events and activities here at the Science Center. And once again, my name is Bill, and I want to thank you for joining us for this online edition of Nightwatch. We hope you can join us here at the Adventure Science Center and the Pseudicum Planetarium. And until next time, I wish you clear skies.